When I was looking at the actual video about my COVID-19, I know some of it's probably not relevant to each other, which is the way I talk anyway, but I realised I didn't talk enough about the um, what projects I had in place for this year alone, which was actually going to be used in a review video, you know, for this entire year. But as the entire COVID-19 incident has came to place, it has all changed. So I'm going to tell you the things I've actually not been able to do. And this has affected me a lot. I mean, it's not just affected me in my little bits. It's affected me quite fucking big. Because there was three projects I was going to go and do. Um, my first one was a historic channel-based product. Which would be take most of the time, but I do enjoy my history. So the idea was to build a new channel, which was based on history itself. And also this book here, which actually introduced my first section, which I actually did start recording a month ago. I did start a month ago, and this is the this is Culloden by Trevor Loyal. And it's actually one of the, probably the biggest books up here when you want to talk about the Battle of Culloden, if you know what that is. And I'm not going to explain it here, because it's, it's just not for this channel. It's designed for a history channel. And I was actually going to be making more projects like that, where I'll be looking at the entire history of the Scottish um, independence movement, the times they tried to do it before and failed. I don't support independence like now because it's a bad idea. But that would be the actual idea. And I, in that project, I would actually entail to um, go out, speak to people, go to historic locations where significant events happen, where like the BBC and other channels have just not bothered looking because I am willing to go to the locations in Scotland you know because we can just go anywhere we like except for now and actually go and investigate the actual basis of Culloden and how the final Scottish Rebellion ended up in that battlefield beside Culloden uh, up near Inverness but of course as COVID-19 got introduced to everyone finally kicked in in February time, I stopped doing this project altogether, which I think could, if I just did it properly, could be really, really worth its time. And these things would take a lot of my effort, but then things changed. So we go on to the second one. The second one was a journey, a destination with film. Now, if you saw the little trailer I designed myself, which was, I think it was okay for what it was. And you see it here, this is the actual video itself, it's just getting played without any sound. And this was the main project I was also going to be building on for 2020 and hopefully get my channel here. This was designed for this channel, the Wormo Progression. And the idea was, I'll say it's been a few years now, so for the last four, five, six years, the Scottish industry of filmmaking has grown massively and actually we had so many legendary movies that came out within the last 20 to 30 to 50 years I was willing to actually go on a journey with you know join me on a journey to a destination with film hence the title of the the actual series so what I meant by that was like I would go to places like Port Noki, where they shot scenes for Whiskey Galore, the new version of it. And then I would go to other places where Local Healer was shot, and where for the last Avengers movie was actually shot for not the station, because we know what the station looks like, you know, the Edinburgh station. No, like the, the Asgardian's new home, which is just down south near the border of England, sort of. Uh, but it's a long journey, but it would actually be worthwhile, in my view, to show you the actual aspects of it is. Because there's so many things in Scotland with movies nowadays that's actually getting contributed now. Despite Scotland sometimes a joke in movies, but I'll give you that. I'll give you it some, up, some of it. But that was the second project, so I would actually be travelling again, which would embrace my passion of travelling and documentation. And filmmaking. And my final one was, was nothing much to do with YouTube, but it was more to promotion of my, to me taking pictures. Such as this little block I've got here. And it was a project I was willing to go on my, separate from YouTube, so I shouldn't have really called it with YouTube. 
this was like a project where I would actually, you know, go in the country, go in the highlands, like this lovely picture I've got. But you get a version of it, here you go. I would be on a project to try and take much pictures as possible, you know, be like one of those photographer kind of guys, and I'd actually try and sell them. And a lot of you would be thinking, why the fuck would you do that? It sounds so boring, it's photography and you're doing it yourself the whole time. Well, funny enough, I don't have a missus to worry about most of the time, or at all really. And I have the free will to do whatever I want in this country until Boris got the coronavirus, so, you know, until the country got hit by the virus which actually severely limited my availability to use this camera that we're using here, uh, I use now for YouTube, to actually, you know, take pictures. And the whole purpose of this would be, is so I could actually try and make a profit and start making something for myself, because I can see for myself now. The way thing my life is going now, I need to innovate more into projects and that, because I'm stuck at two jobs, I am very grateful right now for the coronavirus to keeping me in those two jobs. I nearly had another job, but that hasn't happened now because of this virus, because it requires your social distancing and so on. Rightfully so. It's a very deadly disease that's going about. It affects everyone. And, well, this project would actually let me go out in the public and try and sell these off to people. And you'd be thinking, oh, you just want to be a con man. I'm like, no, these would be my own projects and these would be my own pictures, so I would actually try and sell them off online, on the shop, go to Union Square, try and sell them off, surely somebody would like them, but then that requires a lot of money, effort and progress to actually get something good that somebody wants to, what you know, take home. Because I'm not in the idea of scam anyone off or do something different. I'm not going to go to somebody's wedding and start taking pictures of that. I'm doing this as a hobby, which I also do this YouTube on. And just have a general interest with the use of the camera, because I lo love just going to the Cairngorm Mountains and just taking pictures of the damn same hills a few times a year. Although it's the same hills, I just see that imaginary look when you look at the hill and the clouds and so on. Or if you go to the Highlands where that picture was taken, and it's really bloody beautiful. It's really great when you live in a country that has this natural beauty around. <clears throat> Stupid fucking camera. Just the natural beauty of the, you know, the Highlands and that. I mean, I'm not actually arguing for going doing that. I'm just putting the argument that I know how silly the thing sounds because I'm very aware of what everyone thinks. Not about me, just about things in general. I, I'm, I'm aware of that all the time. It's kind of fun to exploit that sometimes. And for now, really, these things are going like now when COVID-19 is going about, we know things are going to change in the future. Because what things happened 15 years ago, I'm in my mid-20s, 15 years ago, they're not going to be the same next year. No, that's going to change. Things are going to change. We even see the climate is actually getting healthier. So... Even those activist groups are getting what they want. And it's cl it's crazy how things are going to be. But we don't know which way they're going to turn. We could go to a North Fork kind of style, where things are restricted. Or we could be going to exactly what we were before, and everything's just going to go to shit. But, that's not what we're here for. We're here to focus on these projects I couldn't do. But it doesn't mean these projects couldn't get done. No. These can still get done by next year or the end of next year, and when people start finally opening up, we can touch each other's hands, and so on. <clears throat> you know, that thing won't be such a bad thing, and so on and so on. The world will get better again, and when that happens, I will be able to make these videos, and hopefully in a better format, in a better quality, because I know this video content right now is so shit. You know how long it took me just to get this to go okay looking? Longer than you thought. I mean, I've got the time to do it now, but it took too long for that to happen. So, in the aspects of doing these projects, we should be, I'll be going ahead with the projects for the photography and the 
one for the journey of destination of film because I think that could be explored way more than it could be just now. And just the natural beauty of the you know the highlands and that. I mean, I'm not actually arguing for going doing that. I'm just putting the argument that I know how silly the thing sounds because I'm very aware of what everyone thinks. Not about me, just about things in general. I, I'm, I'm aware of that all the time. It's kind of fun to exploit that sometimes. And for now, really, these things are going like now when COVID-19 is going about, we know things are going to change in the future. Because what things happened 15 years ago, I'm in my mid-20s, 15 years ago, they're not going to be the same next year. No, that's going to change. Things are going to change. We even see the climate is actually getting healthier. So even those activist groups are getting what they want. And it's, cl it's crazy how things are going to be. But we don't know which way they're going to turn. We could go to a Northfolk kind of style where things are restricted. Or we could be going to exactly what we were before and everything's just going to go to shit. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to focus on these projects I couldn't do. But it doesn't mean these projects couldn't get done. No, these can still get done by next year or the end of next year and when people start finally opening up we can touch each other's hands and so on, <clears throat> you know that thing won't be such a bad thing and so on and so on, the world will get better again and when that happens I would be able to make these videos and hopefully in a better format, in a better quality because I know this video content right now is so shit. You know how long it took me just to get this to go okay looking? Longer than you thought. I mean, I've got the time to do it now, but it took too long for that to happen. So, in the aspects of doing these projects, we should be, I'll be going ahead with the project for the photography and the one for the journey of destination of film, because I think that could be explored way more than it could be just now. And... About history, about culture, about where things are going. Oh my god, really? About history, about culture, and about the way things could be going for my channel. And the world is going to change forever. It's not going to look exactly the way that it was before. There is going to be a massive change of reality. I know it's going to happen, and I will talk about this on my other channel. So thank you for watching this video. Please support this channel. It means a lot for you guys to be watching my content. Even if it was just watching it and you put the phone down or just subscribe and never look at this channel again, that's just great for me. So thank you. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you and goodbye.